All right, since we're talking about Jimi Hendrix, I thought it'd be a good idea to talk about the guitar that he made so famous, the Fender Stratocaster. Now, what I think is the most unique about the Stratocaster is the pickup configuration. We have three single coil pickups, and here are some of the combinations you can get with these. If you have the toggle switch towards the ceiling, you get the rhythm pickup here, and that's going to have the most bass, the most bottom end, the warmest sound. If we move down one notch, we get these two pickups. So now we have two single coil pickups working together, and this is an amazing sound, especially when you're playing clean. Let's see if I can get a clean patch here. Sounds something like this. You get the rest later. <laughs> okay, go back to my distorted sound here. If we move down one more notch, we're in the middle position, so back to one pickup now, one single coil pickup. A little more treble than the front pickup. If we move down one notch again, we have these two pickups, the middle and the back, getting a little more trebly as we move downwards towards the back pickup. And finally, if we get all the way in the back, we have this single coil pickup in the back here, and this is going to have the most treble. Another thing that is unique about the way the Strat is wired is the tone knobs. Now, the tone knobs do not work for the back pickup. So in other words, if we're on the front pickup, here's the tone for the front. We turn that down, a lot of the treble or the tone disappears. We also have a tone knob for the middle pickup. So if we turn this tone knob down, a lot of that high end disappears from the middle pickup. Now, what's interesting is because there's no tone for the treble pickup, the back pickup here, if we were to turn these two tone knobs down and toggle back and forth on the selector switch here, we can create some pretty cool sounds. I'm going to get a lead patch here, something like this. <laughs> You can hear it sounds like a wah-wah. And Jimmy uses that a lot in Voodoo Child. A lot of other songs as well, but especially in Voodoo Child. All right, so you don't have to have a Strat to play Hendrix songs, but it sure can help out to create some of his sounds. So if you have a guitar that has a similar pickup configuration, you can create some of these Jimmy tones. All right, so that's it for the Strat. See you soon. All right, well, if you've made it through this DVD, congratulations. I think the great thing about Hendrix is you can take little bits of his songs and apply them in your own style and in your own songs. All the Hendrix influence chord riffs. I use that stuff all over the place in my own music. So you can feel free to do the same. So hopefully you got as much out of the DVD as I got from learning the Hendrix songs. And uh, enjoy it, and I hope I see you soon. Thanks a lot. See you later.